Hello, I'm Tracy Dressmark, and this is uh, the fifth installment of this series I have begun. The first four uh, videos uh, you can see on my channel or in a playlist that I put all these videos in. Uh, I will put this in as the fifth video so you can watch all of them uh, after each other. You will uh, recognize them by seeing this face with these glasses in this and these uh, caps that I had made with the Yol Heibabe on it. <laughs> um, this video uh, will be called Thoughts about the Bible and the Flat Earth. What is this about? Flat Earth? Really? There is a lot of people I have been listening to that is uh, Flat Earthers and also Christians and uh, the first one that comes to mind is uh, a brilliant brother in Christ by the name of Rob Skiba um, I leave a link to his uh, website where he shows all of the scripture references in the Bible about the flat earth uh, above me right now so you can pause this video and uh, go take a look at that I'm not really the best man to uh, explain all of this. I do believe uh, that the, uh, the Bible is a flat earth book. Uh, I do believe the Bible when it uh, talks about the firmament. Uh, and um, I do believe that the firmament is still there. Uh, but all the technical stuff uh, you have to watch others. Because uh, first of all I... My English is not good enough if I have to think and speak at the same time. I always screw it up. Uh, so that's why I even wrote down what I was going to say in this video. But, um, well, I have had some thoughts about this, and uh, that is uh, what I'm going to tell you in this video. So let's do it. So in this video I um, will give you some of my thoughts inspired by the Holy Spirit about this subject of the flat earth and the Bible. Uh, please watch, like, share and subscribe to my channel if you liked it. It helps me a lot when you do that and uh, may God bless you with the blessing he gives those who just give a glass of water to one of the little ones. <laughs> You know, I'm one of the little ones. <laughs> so here are some thoughts that suddenly came into my mind that I wrote down. Um, I might be just reading some of this because it's easier for me to write than to speak. So just uh, please forgive me for that. Um, so uh, yeah, these thoughts suddenly came into my mind after my morning prayer routine I have like a, an hour or so uh, prayer time uh, while I, when I wake up uh, sometimes more sometimes less and um, uh, I was praying to God to give me more clarity of mind and that he would open my spiritual eyes and ears so that I can hear him better I prayed about uh, more dreams and visions among other things uh, yeah i have like an hour of prayer time uh, after i wake up every day sometimes more sometimes less i uh, have been praying for inspiration from god from time to time about what to make videos about especially <laughs> because youtube is still the best chance that i have to be able to get off the government aid and uh, support myself uh, one day and uh, I love it as well I love making videos so um, that's why I pray about that <laughs> uh, but anyway uh, after I had finished my prayer session I started to think about the subject of being closer to God and hearing him better and suddenly all these verses from the Bible started to come into my mind 
I remembered that uh, whenever people in the Bible was going to talk to God, they a lot of times went up to a high place. They went up to a mountain, a hilltop, a mount, or a high place. Even Jesus himself did that. It seemed like uh, they always looked for a, the highest elevated location wherever they were at when they needed to talk with God. Why? And why did they always in the olden days uh, used to build all these churches on the highest elevated spots in every city? Why? To lift God up? No, God is already in the highest place above everything. So why did they build all these churches on the higher location? And I told about why did I suddenly start to, to think this, uh, get these thoughts? Why did the Holy Spirit give me these thoughts? Um, well, I was also thinking about the firmament and how it is a molten looking glass according to the Apostle Paul and that's a mirror you know and um, and I was starting to think what if it is one of those mirrors that they have in like these interrogation rooms that they see through on one side and a mirror on the other side so what if the firmament is that kind of mirror, you know, a molten looking glass that is see-through from heaven above us side, but not see-through from our side. But Tracy, the firmament is clearly not a mirror or else we would see ourselves when we look up with a telescope. I know, but what if it is the same technology but instead of a mirror on our side we have like a, a blue curtain with lights in it that we only see at night you know as in the scripture the sky the sky will roll up like a scroll in revelation 6:14 and isaiah 34:4 what if this is an actual technology from God and this is when he reveals to the whole earth that he has been sitting there on his throne right above us, right above the top of the firmament this whole time. So then, what if the reason that the people in the Bible, including Jesus, always seem to find an elevated spot wherever they were when they wanted, wanted to talk to God. What if they wanted to get closer to God in a literal sense? Not so that they could see God, but so that God would see them. Well, Tracy, that theory is bonkers, but uh, because Jesus said, go into your prayer closet and pray. I know we can pray on the inside in our spirit and God will hear us, hear our prayers because of his Holy Spirit inside of us. But if you saw my video about how to explain the Trinity, I'll leave a link to it above right now, where I compare the Holy Trinity to a TV, you know, when, where Father God is the source of what you see, the Holy Spirit is the signal and Jesus is the picture. Now thinking about that, what if you lose the signal? God is still speaking to you, he always does, but what if that signal is blocked somehow? And what did they do before they were born again and filled with the Spirit? They always looked for a high place when they wanted to talk to God and whenever they wanted God's attention. Because Father God is sitting on top of the firmament and you can get his attention if you go to a high place, yell out to him and uh, nothing is blocking his view of you. He, can, he will 
be able to see you and um, it might you know if you if he sees you he probably just zooms in on you and um, zooms in with his eyes and ears to hear you and um, and he will probably then uh, fix whatever is blocking you from hearing him or Jesus via the Holy Spirit and send or send his Holy Spirit to you if you don't have him but uh, don't worry uh, if you don't have an elevated location to go to or it's hard for you to get to one God can also use other people to talk to you and uh, give you messages uh, God can also use other people to transfer the Holy Spirit to you and fix whatever is blocking you from hearing Father God and Jesus. I believe this. I believe that the throne of God is right there above us, right above the firmament. And uh, the earth is his footstool. Uh, he's not trillions and billions of light years away outside of the universe. He's very close. He can see us. We can't see him necessarily, but he can see us and everyone in heaven probably can see us. Uh, they have like a, uh, locations in heaven where they can watch down on us, I believe. Uh, and I, I also heard people who have said that, who have visited heaven. And they say that there's like looking glasses down to down to to look down on earth when they're in heaven how can we have that if uh, we believe in the modern cosmology if heaven is outside of the universe that is trillions and billions of light years across then how can people watch down on us <laughs> it doesn't make sense in a practical way it's much more logical the expla explanation of uh, the firmament and that the heaven is just above the firmament and outside of the firmament is is heaven you know it's the realm of God it's much more easier to understand than you know the trillions and billions of light years expanding universe that came from nothing <laughs> you know it's uh, you have to have a lot of faith to believe in that you know so because of uh, because that I believe in this, does that does that make me crazy? Well, the gospel is foolishness to those who perish. It is written in the Bible, so I'm not surprised that people who call me crazy, you know. So I might be considered crazy, but not according to the Bible or according to Yod Hey Vav Hey, my Father in heaven. So if you don't hear God and have trouble to hear what he is saying to you and uh, you feel that he doesn't see you and stuff, go up to a high place where nothing blocks God from seeing you. You know, go up, go up on the roof of a high building or something and wave to him and scream to him, Father, Father, look at me, Father, Father, just like babies do when they get wants to. <laughs> And to get the attention of the parents you can do the same thing with father god you know and uh, then he will look at you and zoom in on you and listen to you and um he will probably then and there see that oh uh, you can't hear me all right let's fix that and then you can go back to praying to him in your prayer closet so uh, that's really the point of this video. <laughs> um, that's why what I started with, you know, uh, please help me to to hear you better and stuff. And then I suddenly start to think about this, and um, so I think that was from the Holy Spirit. And uh, well, uh, I will try that. I will find a high place where nothing is blocking. God's view of me and I will try to wave and talk to him and uh, see what happens let's try it to see uh, because there must be a reason why they always seem to find a high high elevated location whenever they wanted to talk to God 
even Jesus did that so there must be something to it so uh, let's try it let's go as high as you can go uh, up on the mountain up on a hilltop up on the roof of a building and uh, talk to God and see if uh, uh, you can you can hear him better or you suddenly start to hear him um, if you do it's because he will see you you know literally see you because he's right there above us right now looking down <laughs> so this wasn't really a flat earth video it's uh, more just some thoughts I had uh, that I wanted to share with you and um, well I hope someone uh, got some ideas from it and uh, maybe it's uh, nothing maybe it's a huge thing for someone to think about you know there must be a reason why they always seem to go up on a mountain you know uh, I think it was because they wanted to literally come closer to God because they believed uh, they always believed in the Bible over all the, all those 1400 years they all believed in that same cosmology with the firmament they did believe uh, for all that time that the Bible was written that we are living in what can only be described as a snow globe with the firmament so um, I believe that uh, to get up on a mountain or something to a high place where nothing blocks not your view of God but God's view of you you can get his attention that way I believe it and uh, I will try it and I uh, I tell you to try it as well let's do it and let's tell the people uh, what we get out of that all right well that's it for now I hope you liked it uh, God bless you all bye bye then